News for Jax is getting more information about the proposal of a new gas tax that's being discussed to address the racial economic disparities in predominantly black Jacksonville neighborhoods. Duval County's current gas tax rate is relatively low compared to other counties. And according to City Councilman Aaron Bowman, he's not sure how much of a tax increase he'll be calling for, but locals say it needs to be a significant one to address decades of economic neglect. They promised my mother and all the other people that live in this area many, many years ago that we would be getting sewage uh, systems in this area. We interviewed Corrine McNair last year about one of Jacksonville's broken promises. The promise that her north side community would be connected to basic city services. Instead, today, local families and businesses operate off septic tanks. She also wants to see blighted areas cleaned up. Today, telling News for Jacks, hopefully, long-standing issues like these will be resolved with the proposal of a gas tax. I work with companies all the time that are interested in Jacksonville, and it's difficult to get them to, to commit to move into an area that uh, they don't feel safe. They, there's not places to eat. There's not places to get gas. Uh, it's hard to get in and out. Councilman Aaron Bowman is proposing a gas tax increase to address the economic disparities. It's still unclear just how much of a tax increase he'll propose, but here's how Jacksonville compares to other counties. Duval County's gas tax is six cents. Clay and Nassau counties is 12 cents. St. John's County, six cents. And Baker County is currently six cents. City council members say state law requires gas tax monies to be used for road construction, maintenance, and transportation facilities. So to get around that, Bowman is proposing to put the gas tax money into the city of Jacksonville's general fund. That way, Urban Core Redevelopment Authority members could use the money where they see fit and start righting the wrongs of more than 52 years of economic neglect in predominantly black neighborhoods. I want every place in Jacksonville for people to feel safe, they're proud of where they live, and we have they have access to everything they need. So that's what this program does. You heard Mayor Curry yesterday say that so far he, he likes the idea that gas tax can be approved by the council itself with the majority vote plus one. So 11 people need to vote for the gas tax out of 19. A finance meeting to discuss the issue further is scheduled in two weeks.